What's up everyone? It's Kelly and today I've got a nail art video for you. Specifically, we are actually doing a compilation of galaxy inspired nail art designs using my Orly collab polishes. So I've got six different designs to share with you. They're all really fun. They're super beginner friendly. So let's just dive in. So for all of the designs, I am going to use the Orly Bonder base coat. I'm not going to show it for each one, but just so you know, this is what I use probably 99% of the time when I am reaching for base coat. I figured I would start off the compilation by sharing a classic galaxy nail art design. I feel like there's a lot of ways to do it, but this is what I think of when I think of galaxy nail art designs. So you want to start off with a dark base. I'm going to be using Kelly's Antimatter here, which is a black, but it has a little bit of extra shimmer in it. Then you want to take a makeup sponge and just rip it into a bunch of irregular little pieces. And I'm pretty much going to be using that for most of the designs today. So now I'm just taking Kelly's Galaxy and I'm going to sponge it on on diagonally onto my nail. So I don't want to cover up the whole nail. Basically, I am creating this sort of scattering of stars in the center of my nail. So what we want to do is slowly brighten up that center area and make it look like there's a big concentration of stars. So I'm using my darkest blue as kind of like the widest color. And then I'm going in with Kelly's Solstice, which is a lighter blue. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm dropping some out onto a little resin nail art plate thingy. And then I am going to sponge that on. But I want to make sure it's a little bit more concentrated on my nails. As I sponge on more colors, I want it to get thinner and thinner because I want the biggest concentration of what looks like little stars to be in the center of my diagonal line. So once I've got those two colors on, I'm going to do the same exact thing with white. I'm using white tips here also from Orly and this is where it's going to be the thinnest line. So to me, when I'm working with galaxy nail art designs, when I see the color white, I always think of that as the color of the stars. So we're looking at basically just a huge cluster of stars going across the nail and then it kind of fades out into the other colors. And galaxy nail art always looks kind of crazy as you're doing it, but you do have to trust the process. Don't worry about getting a little bit on your skin. We'll clean it up after. And now I'm going to do a little trick using Kelly's Constellation. Normally at this point, I would take a toothpick or an orange wood stick or a small dotting tool and I would dot on little white dots across the center of the nail just to highlight certain bigger star pieces. But since I basically have that in nail polish topper form, I'm just going to apply that onto my nail, really focusing in the center part. And I tried my best to wipe off the bigger hollow pieces and I didn't get any of the little star pieces from the topper onto there. I'm really just focusing on getting as much of that white matte glitter on there as possible. And then I'm just topping it off with top coat. And you can see it is just the perfect easy galaxy nail art design. Looks kind of crazy while you're doing it, but once it's done, it really does have that sort of nebulous feel and you can see the colors fading into black and it's just really fun. You can pretty much do this with any color, but I always like to start with a black base and then work my way in with either like a bluish kind of color or a purple or pink. So now that we've got the basics down, I want to show you another slight variation of this, and that would be the pastel galaxy nail art. And it doesn't necessarily have to be pastel. That's just what I call it when it's not black. But I am using Kelly's Moon Dust as a base for this one. So it's kind of this pinky purple sort of color, and we've got a little bit of shimmer going on in there. Basically, we're going to do the same thing, but I'm not going to concentrate the sponge in the center of my nail. I'm kind of going to work around in an almost random pattern, but you'll still see there's going to be a concentration of where the stars are supposed to be. So I'm starting off with Kelly's Galaxy. I'm kind of just sponging that in the upper corner, but it's really kind of just random where you want to put it to make sure it looks like little star clouds and nebulas and all that sort of stuff. So then I'm going to take white tips again and I'm going to sponge that mostly focusing on the center of my nail, but I also want to get some of the edges because one of the things about using a color as your base color is the colors that you sponge on are going to sort of take on the color of the base. So I wanted to paint on some areas that I was going to have blue that I didn't want to turn into purple. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see as I'm sponging on Kelly's Solstice, because I have a white base for that, you're going to be able to see a lot better that this is a blue and it's not going to turn purple when I mix it with that pinky color of my base. So I'm kind of just going in again, sort of random, but I'm trying to make it seem like there's just a lot of bright, fun colors going on. And then I thought that was a little too bright. So I ended up just applying a little bit more of Kelly's Galaxy in the corner and then applying it over some of the white on 
top just to make it look a little bit more blue. And then again, I'm taking Kelly's Constellation. I'm pretty much just wiping off the brush so that I mostly get the white glitters, although there is a little bit of hollow sparkle in there as well, which I think just adds to the effect. And I am just dotting that in the center, really focusing on where the white parts are on my nail because that's where I kind of feel like the stars are. And it's again, looking kind of crazy, but trust me, it ends up looking really cool once you put your top coat on. Now, I decided to take this one step further and I probably shouldn't have, <laughs> but I'm gonna show you what I did anyway, just in case you wanna do it. I'm gonna take a dotting tool and I drew a few white dots and then I am drawing four lines coming out of each dot and I am making them look like pretty massive stars going on in the center of my nail. And I thought this was a really cool idea. I definitely like it in theory, but I was a little impatient, so I applied them pretty sloppily and then I also smudge them when I put the top coat on. So this is definitely a way to do it but if you are painting on any details on your nail you want to wait until they're completely dry before you apply your top coat. I know that but I always get impatient anyway so that was my bad but I still think that the background looks really cool and I love just the scattering of colors in there. So I also wanted to play around with different types of designs that feel galaxy inspired but aren't necessarily just that sponged on galaxy look. So I'm gonna take a few different colors. I've got moon dust, I've got solar flare and solstice plus white tips. And I'm just going to apply all of those on my little resin plate here. And I'm not gonna mix them in or anything. I'm just gonna have them randomly on there. And then I'm taking a little bit of cling wrap and I am dipping that in. And you can see I did a little bit on the plate so you could see what it looks like, but I am going to basically just apply that onto a white nail. and. And I'm going to do it diagonally, but you can really do whatever design you want. It's kind of just like the smoosh manicure where each nail looks a little bit different, but the vibe is still there. And I don't know, this also to me felt pretty nebulous, but it also just feels like a cool type of abstract design. And then I'm going to apply my constellation topper across just the bottom half of the nail there because you're not gonna be able to see the white glitters over over the white anyway. And then I thought I would take that one more step further. I'm not gonna freehand stars this time. I'm just going to take these stars out of Kelly's Constellation and I'm just gonna put a few of those on my nail. And I wanted it to kind of overlap from the top where it's white into the colorful part. So I don't know, it's more of like a galaxy inspired design. It's not necessarily a galaxy nail art design, but here it is. I ended up putting three stars on and then I feel like it was missing something. So I decided to individually apply a few of these silver hollow hex glitters that are also in Kelly's constellation. So I just popped a few of those on. I kind of wanted it to look like the nebulous parts were bleeding into the white, if that makes sense. So yeah, another really fun design here. Now, if you've watched my nail art tutorials before, you know that I absolutely cannot resist doing a drip manicure and I will always try to make it work for whatever theme I am thinking of. So I'm gonna show you another drip manicure. This time I'm using Kelly's solar flare as the base and then I'm going to use Kelly's antimatter as my drips and I'm gonna make them look like little galaxy drips. So this is an incredibly easy design to do and you can really make it work for so many themes. In this case, it's galaxy. I also love doing it for Halloween where it looks like black. Blood. I love doing it in the summer where it looks like dripping ice cream. So you can really make it work however you want, but I am going to take a larger dotting tool and I'm just gonna apply a few dots randomly on my nail. Then I'm gonna take a brush and draw lines coming out of those. So it looks like three really weird lollipops. And then I'm going to connect those three really weird lollipops and I'm going to fill them in until it looks like little drips. And honestly, it seems intimidating, but I promise you this is such an easy design designed to do because it's pretty much foolproof. Drips in essence are just sloppy looking so you don't have to get perfect with it. And as long as you have a dotting tool, you're gonna have a really nice spherical drip going on there. So it works out pretty easily and you could just stop here. But again, I don't know. I just can't stop using Kelly's Constellation. So I decided to top it off just that drippy part with Kelly's Constellation. Again, trying really hard to focus on just getting the matte white glitter and the little hollow sparkle in there and maybe just a touch of the holographic hex glitters as well. And I feel like this kind of looked like just a galaxy of stars dripping onto my purple nail. You don't have to use a glitter topper for this. You can also just use a toothpick and kind of dot on some stars, but 
I feel like using a topper like this is such an easy way to make it look like you have done difficult nail art without having to freehand anything. And as you can see from my previous nail art design, I'm not the best at freehanding stars. So this is a very foolproof way to do it. <laughs> I also love messing around with the finish of drippy manicures like this. So you can even do where the base color is matte with a matte top coat and then glossy drips coming down or you can reverse that or just like I did right here you can make it all one layer I just put a glossy top coat on everything because I don't know I thought that looked pretty <laughs> all right so I've been very excited to do this type of design specifically on my nails since we came up with the concept for Kelly's constellation and now I'm finally doing it I'm starting off with Kelly's solstice and I'm gonna start off by doing the standard sort of galaxy manicure I'm sponging on white tips because that is going to be where my cluster of stars is really focusing on. And then I'm going to take Kelly's Galaxy and I'm going to sponge the areas around that just to make it look a little bit deeper and darker. You can swap Kelly's Solstice and Kelly's Galaxy here if you want to, but I just wanted mine to be a little bit lighter because I am going to be making actual constellations on my nails. And this is a really fun design. I feel like it works a little bit better when you have longer nails. I tried my best, but I'll explain in a second. First, I'm going to take Kelly's Constellation and again, just wiping off most of the stuff on the brush and then making my little white matte glitters and sparse hollow glitters just coming across the center of my nail to look like my nebula. You can stop here and this is another great way to do the pastel galaxy sort of vibe, but I'm going to take it one step further and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of my black star glitters and I'm going to put them on my nail and I actually wanted this to look like the Cancer constellation, which is my zodiac sign. And my nails are a little bit short for it, so I did kind of a shortened version. But then I'm going to take Kelly's antimatter and I'm actually going to draw the lines to each star so that it shows the actual constellation on my nail. So this is why I was saying it's probably a little bit easier if you have longer nails, because if I had longer nails, I would be able to do the fifth star that the Cancer constellation has. But you can also just make up your own constellation you don't have to actually use real constellations. I feel like you just do a couple or three and just kind of connect them and make your own constellation nails. But I did think it would be fun specifically to do my own zodiac sign. So I tried it. I think it looks cute. <laughs> okay. I saved my favorite design for last because this is the coolest concept that I have ever come up with. And I am about to make this my personality. <laughs> So I am just taking a bunch of colors. I have antimatter as my base. I didn't show myself painting it on, but I am going to take a bunch of my collab colors and I am just going to put them in a big pile on my little plate here, including white. And I'm going to take a dotting tool. I'm not mixing it together, but I am just randomly popping the dotting tool in there and dotting it on. So I'm showing you a few different examples here of how each dot looks different based on where I am dipping into my little pile of polish here and this creates such a cool swirly looking design that I thought looked just like a bunch of planets. So that is how I created this really fun, easy planet design without actually having to draw planets or swirls at all. So I did that and I just used a big dotting tool and just dotted that onto my antimatter base color and each planet ended up looking totally different and I love the way that it looked. I ended up fitting five bigger ones and then just one small one. I did a little teeny tiny one going off of the corner of my nail, but you can barely see it. And then once those were dry, I decided to add a little bit more contrast. I went in very lightly with Kelly's moon dust because I wanted a couple of these planets to be ringed and I felt like that was the best color for a ringed planet. So I put rings around two of the lighter planets and that is literally Literally it. it is the easiest way to do a planetary manicure and it looks so cool and you can really make this with so many different colors and it'll look different every single time. I just think this is such a fun concept. I started off by just using glossy top coat but then I mattified it and I love the way that looked but then I wanted to take it another step and I popped on glossy top coat just on the planets with a matte background and that was also really fun. So there's so many different ways to customize this. It's a really fun 
fun design. But that is it for my Galaxy Nail Art compilation. So let me know which of the designs is your favorite. And if you're going to try them, definitely let me know. Tag me on social media. I am so excited to see your recreations. Also, huge shout out to my supporters on Patreon, my Royal Astronomer Amanda M, as well as my Cosmic Admirals, Rocket Man's daughter, Paula, Ken, and Rosie. I really appreciate your support and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!